I would say one big issue for architects uh, is globalization, global practice, uh, which has now made everybody competitive with everybody else, but is also because of the decline in growth in of the Western countries, the United States and Western Europe, has turned everybody's attention, that is architects, to Asia and Far East, and the, uh, and the Near East. And there, the, in the Near East, you have volatility, uh, which makes the whole game really tricky and political concerns that trouble many people. In the case of Asia, particularly China, you have a boom. How long that will last remains to be seen. But with the boom, the Chinese are also extremely tough negotiators. They are really hard to, hard. they get their money's worth, let me put it that way. So business students might want to uh, keep that in mind. Um, of course, it also means that architects are on the airplane a lot. Uh, but Skype and all the other means of communication certainly ameliorate trans-oceanic travel and reduce the need for it, but you still have to meet with people face-to-face -face -face at key times. Globalization uh, on the cultural level affects everybody, no matter who or what they're doing in these foreign countries. It, but I'm speaking, of course, with principal reference to Westerners. So it's, you know, think global, uh, but also think local. And that's very difficult. It's difficult for one reason, because often non-Western power centers hire Western people, architects in particular, because they want a certain kind of product. Whether that product really is appropriate, whether a glass box office building is the right solution for a 110 degree year-round desert climate. Uh, I'm not going to say, but I think it uh, raises questions, right? And so there's that tension. And then if you propose as a Western architect to reference local traditions, which are simple usually, but very direct in the handling of climate and often very closely related to how people have lived up until now, you bump up against the fact that you're parodying the local. Or that's not what we hired you for, Mr. Architect. We want something new. We want what you do in the West. So that's a big tradition and I think uh, pr a, a problem. And I think that's a problem for anyone working uh, uh, creatively, let's say, whether it's a business creative uh, gesture or, or, or otherwise, in these non-Western situations. And we wrestle with that not only in practice, but in schools, in our School of Architecture, it's a constant discussion.